Shalom, shalom. You know who it is. It's your boy, Yael Ezra Ben Levy, coming at you again with another quick video. Tomorrow is Sunday. Many of our brothers and sisters are going to get up early in the morning so they can make it to church, make it to Sunday school, catch praise and worship, and then catch a teaching from the Word of God or from the New Testament. Um, here's one thing I want to ask my brothers and sisters that are going to spend hours within the church. I want to bring your attention to something that your master says, to something that your God said, to something that your Savior said. Um, Yeshua, a.k.a. Jesus, a.k.a. Yehoshua, a.k.a. Um, Yehabashai. He said in the Gospel of John, and I want you to do your homework and look it up. He said in the Gospel of John, he said, you who are believers in him, I'm paraphrasing, you who are believers in him, you will do greater works than what he have done because he go to the father. Now I have a question for you. Are you doing the greater works that your master said you can do? Now, first of all, you have to recall, you have to bring back into remembrance those things that he did. That's recorded in the Gospels. It is recorded in the Gospels that he raised the dead. He healed the sick. He cast out devils. He healed those that were maimed. That's in the Gospels. So now... Are you doing those things? He said you would do greater works than what he did. So here it is. Why do you have handicapped parking at your place of worship? You should only have it for the first day you opened. Then afterwards, you need to color over that white or yellow or blue handicap symbol. Because you will have no need for it. You, sh you, you shouldn't have a section for those who are um, deaf. Where a person signed the message. They should be working for one day. Then after that one day they shouldn't even have a job anymore. Because you should be laying hands on them. And restoring their sight their hearing, and whatever other sickness or diseases they have, they should be eradicated. Because you believe in the one who you said is the Messiah. He plainly states in the gospel. And you said this is the word of God. You said the New Testament is scripture. It is inspired by God. Now you got to ask yourself, why are you not performing these things? Wonders, these works that's supposed to surpass what your master did. Because he said you will do greater. If you're doing greater, you are surpassing that which he did. If it's not you doing it, why isn't your pastor doing it? Your apostle, the teacher, the evangelist. Why is it the fivefold ministry? Why is it the disciples, the followers of Christ manifesting this great thing in their in the services, in their everyday lives? This is something that you got to ask yourself. Why aren't these things reality in the Christian church? Why? A Christian should be able to go into the into a hospital and um, totally wreak havoc in a hospital, in an emergency room. Because they should be laying hands on the sick 
and they should be being recovered according to the will of God, according to that all that anointing that is on you. You should be healing people left and right doing the greater works that he said you can do. So now I want you to ask yourself, if this is not your reality, if this is not what you've seen in the churches you go to, if your churches are not closing their doors to saying we're going to every hospital in our neighborhood, every dialysis center, and wrecking havoc to bring to fruition what your master said you can do. I didn't say it. He said it. It's written in red letters that you can do greater works than he. Now ask yourself, why aren't these things being done? That's all I'm saying. This is your ball out.